Hi, this is Jordi Benefa at electronics.cat and we are about to explain how to control expansion connector on the Beagle board running as a web server. Let's go! If it is the first time you are using Beagle board, the first thing to do is to back up the SD card. One way to do that is using DD as input file. Where is the device, in this case MMC BLK0, and the output file, in this case is bb.img. To clone the SD card, you do dd in the opposite way, as input file, the bb.image, and output file, the device, memory card. Once SD card has been cloned, it's time to switch BeagleBoard on. In order to download new packages, we should have connected BeagleBoard to a network with internet access. From BeagleBoard itself, we are about to open Terminal Program. And now we are able to write the instructions to download any package. Next step is to install a web server with PHP capabilities. We have chosen Light TPD instead of Apache for performance reasons. Once Light TPD has been installed, it is time to install PHP and its related modules. Next step is to install a web server with PHP capabilities. We have chosen Light TTPD instead of Apache for performance reasons. Once Light TPD has been installed, it is time to install PHP and its related modules. We should adapt lighttpd.conf file to enable modfast CGI. Next is uncomment PHP server configuration and to change user local bin php by user bin php dash cgi and after these changes we should restart light ttpd looking at the beagle board manual there is a schematic with the main expansion header processor connections we are about to choose Pins from MMC2.0 to MMC2.7 because we want to connect 8 LEDs. The size of a byte. Be aware that the voltage levels on the expansion header are 1.8 volts. Exposure of these signals to a higher voltage will result in damage to the board and avoiding of the warranty. It is easy to make an adapter. To connect a universal input output board. We are watching Table 22, related to expansion connector signals. On column 0, there is the name of the pin, and on column 4, there is the number on the general purpose input output, GPIO. For instance, MMC2.7 is related to GPIO 139. MMC2.6 
is related to GPIO 138 until to MMC2.0 related to GPIO 132. I am about to connect the adapter to the vehicle board. And now I am about to connect the universal input output board. This jumper is giving 5 volts to the universal input output board. Now it's time to set up an output for the bigger board. Going to this folder, GPIO, we see that there is not GPIO 139, then now I'm writing echo 139 redirected to export and doing an ls again we see GPIO 139, then I go to this new folder and we can see these files. Now it's time to send a logical one to the output. Echo high redirected to direction. We can see the let on. Now we are sending a low signal and the LED is off. If we have finished to work with this pin, it's time to unexport it. And now, echo 139 redirected to unexport. And we see now that there is no GPIO 139. Translating terminal commands to PHP, this is a code to set GPIO pins from 139 to 132 to work with them. The name of this file is setIO.php. This code belongs to BB trial 001.php and the function of this code is just to send the write -in number on the web page to the input output universal board. And finally there is the code of unsetio.php just to unexport all the pins when everything is finished. Now it's time to upload some HTML code to the Beagle board. One easy sample is to develop a web page with an entry text and a button to send the right number to the LEDs connected to the Beagle board expansion slot. These are the files on the web server just now. Doing an ifconfig, we're able to know which is the IP of our Beagle board. In this case, it's 192.168.1.156. Going to this address, we see that it works. The first thing to do is to export all the pins. To do that, we select the file setio.php. Now it's time to send a 128 to the LEDs. Now we're changing it 
to a 1. If you want to watch more videos like this, please visit us again at electronics.cat. See you soon!